Hi, my name is Tony. I want to share with you on how small group has impacted my life. I remember, I think it was last September, um, there was a fall sign up. Um, the roster had a couple, uh, I don't know, Pastor Kevin's uh, addiction, uh, Don Ray had one at Augusta Ranch. Uh, just the timing, some of the, uh, I don't know, just a little uncomfortableness, and I was kind of avoiding it, and I was kind of going to try to skirt by and not sign up. And out of, out of the blue, Rob Hinkle yells out, Tony, you're going to sign up for D group. A small group, and I was like, oh shoot, it's not what I want to do. I don't know anybody. I'm kind of new to Bethel. I just want to, I just want to go home. <laughs> I sign up. I see one for Lucas Kirkland. He's, I, I figured, I think I can relate with him. He's a quiet guy. I'm a quiet guy, and uh, we can probably think our way through things. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so I just kind of figured it might be some kind of history lesson on the book of Galatians. I think that was the subject. And so I said, hey, we'll, we'll meet in October. So meet me there at 7 o'clock. It's an hour, it's an hour uh, session and we'll go from there. And we'd meet there kind of, all right, this is cool. This ain't too bad. Um, holidays came. Uh, you know, everybody was kind of in and out of it. So we could say, well, just meet back here in January. Uh, after after the holidays and uh, Matt Carnes house has opened up for us and so we're gonna meet at Matt's house and get here at Matt's house and uh, Lucas White brings out his uh, guitar uh, these guys are singing it's a little more emotional uh, people are sharing their feelings I was like this is not what I signed up for this is not anything I wanted uh, I was hoping it'd be some kind of history lesson and uh, it, it, it was so these guys are praying over people, guys are crying, uh, I'm like, this is not what I signed up for, this is not anything I wanted. But I knew my, I knew that was the wrong thinking, so I was going to stick it through, I'm going to stick it through. Uh, time progressed, uh, I just wasn't connecting with anything, I wasn't connecting with anybody here or any of the music, I didn't know any of the songs, I, I just didn't know what to do and I felt so out of, out of place. Uh, the Reset Conference came in January, I believe, and uh, I just remember asking Pastor Preston to pray for me that, uh, you know, this internal struggle with, with, the, with the group, I just don't feel like I'm connecting with it. And he prayed over me and said, it's, it's going to be okay, you're going to be alright. Uh, Pastor Mike said, hey man, don't worry about it, uh, whatever you're praying for is going to come true. Yeah, <laughs> Pastor Mike had a sermon on, on praise and what it meant. And uh, things started clicking for me on what the music meant and what praying for people meant. And um, I didn't even know I had a question on what it was. You know, it was just an internal question that I didn't know it was a question. Well, Lucas says to me one day, says, hey, you're going to lead a group. You're going to lead the next group. And it's, I think you can do it. And, and this is where we're at, and uh, it's changed my life so much. Uh, I never thought I'd be leading a group, uh, especially not looking to be a leader, uh, but it's made me a better man, a better husband, a better son. Uh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> yeah. so, so I'm just so thankful for the small group. It's made a difference in my life. I'm thankful for the relationships, and uh, my small group made a difference. Uh, thank you. Love you guys.